The term traditional Chinese painting was originated in the Han Dynasty. It mainly refers to mounted scroll paintings on silk and xuan paper. It is a form of artistic presentation on silk or paper with water, ink, or pigment by brush pens. The beauty of a Chinese painting is simple and rich. It is the perfect expression of the soul of China. To understand and paint well Chinese paintings, it is necessary to better understand Chinese philosophy and culture. Chinese paintings have unique laws and techniques, but generally emphasize the inherent color of the object. A Chinese painting is mainly created on white paper with ink, supplemented by other colors. Common tools of traditional Chinese painting mainly include the writing brushes, ink sticks, paper, and ink stones, namely the four precious articles of the writing table. Brush pens, the main tools of painting, were invented after the Qin and Han dynasties, and there was a legend of Meng Tian invented brush pens. While painting, the tip, body, and root of brush are mainly used. The form of brush pens has not changed since the invention. Ink, the special product in China, has had a history of more than 3,000 years and has been taken as the main pigment for painting. It was refined in the Tang Dynasty and has been used until now, together with ink stones. At present, Chinese paintings are also mainly painted with ink. Paper is one of the four great inventions in ancient China. In the Tang and Song dynasties, Chinese paintings were mainly created on silk. And after the Yuan dynasty, Paper was widely used for painting. Traditional Chinese paintings were mainly created on xuan paper, including the raw and cooked paper. Freehand brush works were mainly created on raw xuan paper in an unrestrained style, with greater water consumption. while elaborate style paintings were mainly created on the cooked xuan paper due to its non-absorption of ink. Pigment is also one of the commonly used tools in Chinese paintings. The currently used pigments are mainly artificial pigments. The pigments for traditional Chinese paintings are mainly divided into mineral pigments and plant pigments. The wall paintings of Dun Huang and temples were created by self-grinding mineral pigments, which could retain bright for a long period of time. There should be no more than four colors in one painting, and they should be rendered by layers, so each layer of color should be thin. Teaching of Chinese painting techniques are mainly created with brush pens and ink. 
as well as water. which is as important as brush pens and ink. The ink is mainly used in thick, heavy, light, wet and clear manners, which can be well expressed in a single stroke. Now, let's draw something at the same speed. As for Chinese paintings, layer drawing is the main technique, namely the rhythm of strokes of water and ink under specific environment. Each Chinese painting can be presented by layers of ink. This is thick ink. Then heavy ink. Light ink. Clear ink. In Chinese paintings, the dots can be represented by the thickness of line, curve, reverse peak, dragging peak and following peak. Next, I will draw peony leaves, branches and lotus leaves. There are mainly lines combined with dots, lines and surfaces. Therefore, lines are the key elements to creation and expressiveness of Chinese paintings. Painting of Bamboo When drawing bamboo, 
The brush pen should be started outside the paper, and the bamboo joints should be drawn by powerful strokes with the technique of pause. There should be more strokes at the joints to express their strength. The bamboo poles must be straight. The bamboo joints should be staggered. If there is the first joint here, the second one should be here, the third one here, and the last one here. This is the rhythm and law of bamboo painting. Let's draw a thin one with the natural law. The longer bamboo would be thinner. Next, let's draw the leaves, which should be completed in a coherent manner with enough ink. Without dipping ink repeatedly, the direction of the brush pen is used to express the thickness of the leaves. ink would get lighter, heavy first. And then light, with clear correlation. We can draw full leaves. The painting can also be enriched by the size and staggered arrangement of leaves. With these techniques, we can freely combine the bamboo plants to create a painting. As for bamboo shoots, dip the tip in ink.
draw from top to bottom. And then some details may be added to enrich the painting. Finally, as for the twigs, the same rule should be followed. First, draw the joint. and then draw the leaves on the twigs from bottom to top in consideration of the upward growing. Attention should also be paid to the rhythm and distribution. For painting plum blossoms, draw the framework first. After drawing the trunk, plum blossoms may be embellished. The small branches may be attached on the trunk. Red plum is the most popular subject. We painting. The color should be full. While drawing pistols, the spirit of plum should be presented. The aged trunk and emerging branches should be expressed. There may not be too many blossoms.
but the fullness and artistic conception should be ensured. The style of the signature must correspond to the painting. And the painting style must be consistent with the fate. The stamping should also consider the composition of the painting. The artistic conception of this painting is to show plum blossoms in snow on the aged trunk. There are several plum blossoms expressing the stubborn vitality of the plant. Chinese paintings mainly pursue artistic conception, which can be taken as the soul of Chinese paintings. Only the artistic images with artistic conceptions can afford for thought. The profound and expressive painting can create wide and lasting appeal to the viewers. This is the artistic conception of Chinese paintings. In the process of painting, we should first read the painting, carefully view the painting, and comprehend its artistic inspiration. Select a favorite style of painting, the painter that you admire, and the favorite work for imitation which can help to cultivate your interest in painting. After the course, I think all of you may a simple understanding of traditional pen and ink and techniques. I hope that it can increase your interest in Chinese paintings and promote you to learn more about Chinese paintings with the brush and ink techniques learned in this course, represent the scenery and thoughts in your eyes. This is the ultimate goal of this course. I hope that you can feel the charm of Chinese paintings.